The managing general partner of the New York Yankees, Hal Steinbrenner, is nice enough to join us now. Hal, thanks for coming on. Michael, Don, and Peter here. Hey, guys. How you doing? We're doing okay. Um, the losing, Hal, that's been happening since Judge went down, how much does it affect you? How much does it annoy you? You didn't even ask me how I was. <laughs> how are you? I, I was a little bit... Bad guy. I yeah, was that's... a little bit hesitant to come on the show because I remembered that I owed Don 20 bucks. <laughs> that's right. You know, <laughs> and, and with late fees, Hal, we're starting to work up the legends. Uh, with the juice, wow, the late juice. fees. I said with interest. <laughs> Yeah. Well, look, I'm not happy at all about the last week, needless to say. Um, you know, I, I talked to everybody a week ago when I was in New York media-wise, and uh, I still think we're missing, obviously, a few big pieces that need to come back. But overall, we're hanging in there. Uh, the last week was disappointing, though, without a doubt. Um, you know, I, I said last week we needed some guys to step up. And uh, because we're missing a big, big player in, in Aaron Judge. And uh, so far, it hasn't happened. Um I think we saw a glimpse of hopefully uh, good things out of one of them last night. They got three hits, but um, you know we, we've got to we got to get back to scoring runs. We got to back, get back to where we were those two weeks in May when I think we went twelve, won twelve games out of fifteen, and we were never out of a game, and mm -hmm. we were scoring runs, and you know we had we played a good four game series against the Rays. We got, we got to get back to that, and we still have to get healthier, obviously. <sighs> Just just to dive right in over the overall situation, Hal, because we deal with it every single day on the air. Fans unhappy yeah. you have not won a World Series since 2009. You're the New York Yankees and have not had a parade down the Canyon of Heroes going on 14 seasons. But yet, right. Aaron Judge, I mean, excuse me, Aaron Boone, Brian Cashman have gotten extensions during that time. So I guess the overall question is, are you happy with where your team has been over the last six years? And has the mission statement of championship or bust maybe been adjusted? No, it has not been adjusted. Our goal every year is to win a championship. And I've been through this before with numerous people. Do I feel that the whole season is a failure when we don't? Uh, no, I don't, because I'm not going to ignore when we win, you know, X amount of games and win a division and win a division series. I'm not going to ignore that. But we, we have failed for many years to win a championship, and that is our ultimate goal. But, you know, I went through this a lot in the off season. I talked to a lot of you guys. And for all the reasons that I stated, I, I believe that Boone is a good manager, and I believe that Cashman is a good general manager. And I'm not going to go into all those reasons again. You can look it up. Uh, there, there are many. But we have failed, and you can include me in that as well. Um, you know, my family puts the resources in we can every year, and we strive to feel a championship caliber team. And sooner or later, that's got to result in a championship. And I absolutely understand the frustration with the fans. So, so I get it. it. We're it, all frustrated. I guess the frustration, and is it a fair question to ask, if you have failed since 2009, there doesn't seem to be any accountability in those failures if the same guys keep coming back to take another kick at the can. Well, I think the accountability is with the fans. I mean, if, if, they, if they've lost confidence in us and, and the way we do things and what we do to try to win a championship every year, they're going to let us know in, in a variety of ways. So I always feel accountable, believe me. But if you're asking me, do I think Brian Cashman is not a good general manager? No, I think he's a good general manager. And I've been through the reasons numerous times. We don't need to go through it again. But we have failed to achieve our ultimate goal for many, many years, and that's to win a championship. And we can go through the contributing factors every single year. Uh, we're not going to do that, of course. Uh, we can go through some of the contributing factors this year as to why we are where we are. Uh, but we don't need to do that either, unless you guys want it. Uh, you mentioned your family and, and what you guys put into this, and of course, one of the things uh, that we have to hear ad nauseum is, "What would George yeah. do? What would George think?" It's, it's, uh, you know, don't get me wrong; it's, it's become almost a bit of a joke at times on the show. But you are a human being who did take this thing over from your legendary dad. Do you ever think about what your dad would think about where this organization is in 2023? Sure. I mean, and, and it's, it's, it's oftentimes I think about what would my dad do. Uh, but my dad and I are two different people, of course. And, you know, you guys, you guys are, have been around long enough to know that uh, my dad was not particularly well liked for a lot of years. And there were a lot of years without a championship. And again, we have the greatest fans in the world. They're passionate and they expect excellence. And, and, and I get that. But um, yeah, he went through his hard times as well. And, you know, right now we're, uh, we're going through difficult times trying to win a championship. 